Howdy. Welcome to a, another episode of This Week in Herbs Workshop. It's been some time since I've uh, done a video, but I thought I'd get out here and show you my latest project. I saw this uh, project on uh, Lee Pearden's uh, YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Pragmatic Lee. And I think uh, he had copied it from uh, uh, Ox Tools, uh, Tom Lipton. So I did my own version of it, a uh, little bit different than uh, what uh, Lee did, but uh, uh, the concept is the same. Uh, what it is is a uh, sign plate for my Kurt Vice, and I had a piece of three inch uh, 6061 aluminum round stock which I cut off to six inches, and I had this plate, it was actually a uh, 11 by 12 plate that I had acquired, and I cut that up and uh, made a piece that's uh, about 11 inches long and 6 inches wide. Uh, the shelf is uh, cut in uh, from, off, uh, from center line is the back edge, center line of the, the round stock out to uh, the edge and it's a half inch deep, which this is a half inch plate. I drilled three uh, quarter 20 holes into the round stock, uh, center line and one and a half inches on each side. And uh, then I threw hold and countersunk the, uh, the plate for quarter to any cap screws, and that's why we've got holding it there. Uh, there's 171 holes in this this thing, plus these three years so makes 174. Actually, there's a set, another one there, but uh, I don't count that one. Uh, this is a, a tenth inch deep, hundred thousandths, quarter inch wide. And it's for a, a, a fence that I don't have. I thought I had some quarter inch uh, key stock, but uh, I didn't have any, so I have some on order. And, uh, and then 171 holes out of here. Well, first of all, I took center of the plate and found center and uh, drilled a quarter to any hole, and then I uh, countersunk it with a 60 degree countersink so that you can always find center, find center on the, on the plate very easily. Uh, that came in handy when I was taking it on off the mill. You could always put this back on and it would, uh, find center for you, and then you can measure off of that. Um, so that says 171 uh, drilled and tap, quarter 20 holes. Well, knowing that it was going to take forever to get that done, I ordered a, uh, actually I bought one at my local hardware store. And it lasted one hole, which was this one. Uh, that was my fault. I didn't put any uh, lubricant on it, and I broke it first thing, uh, which is what I understand. These are uh, quite easily broken off. Well, I drilled the other 170 holes with this one here, which I'd ordered from Amazon. It's a Greenlee 
quarter 20 drill and tap. So it drills and taps. I power tapped each one of these holes at about uh, 60 RPM, maybe a little bit more, but it was uh, pretty easy with my mill. I have a break on the on the uh, spindle, so as soon as it started uh, pulling itself down the tap, I would have my hand on the switch, and when it got down to about this point right here, I would flip the switch into reverse, and it would back out, and uh, then go again. And before each hole, I brushed anchor lube on it. So each one of these was brushed and uh, with anchor lube and drilled and tapped. So that's, uh, that's out. And I've made these little hole downs earlier. These are some that I have on here. Uh, I'm probably going to make some more, but these are just on there for, for show right now, I suppose. But that's my my uh, project. I have a drawing. If anybody would like one, email me. Herb at hwblair.com and I'll send you a copy of the drawing. This one only shows a six inch long plate, but uh, you can make it any length. Also, I intend to, uh, over here on the center line, duplicate these holes so I can put the plate uh, sideways, and I'll probably do that today. But uh, that's the hole, oh, and each one of these holes is uh, deburred with a uh, countersink in a, in a power drill. So it was real easy to go along and do that to them, so 171 times. Okay, uh, here it is in the uh, vise. Uh, you have three points of contact, front and back of the rod and the, and the bottom. So it's very sturdy. Uh, it's not going to move. Um, you can set any angle from n uh, negative uh, about probably five or six degrees all the way up to uh, 90. So it's uh, very versatile. I went ahead and mounted it sideways here and that's probably the way I'd use it most of the time. I didn't cut a groove for the fence on this side. Uh, at some point I probably will, but uh, uh, for now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So that's it. Uh, that's my uh, sign plate for the uh, Kurt Weiss. Uh, it took about two days of work to complete, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of drilling and power tapping. And that uh, Greenfield drill and tap worked uh, fantastic. So uh, thanks for watching.